moon stricken, animal in need, bad seed, untamable. Tape again here, tuning in, uh, like and subscribe. Um, so I was just online and uh, you, yeah, people were asking me to make a video basically um, talking about what I think uh, needs like is maybe wrong with the game or or whatnot and kind of along those lines there um so i'm gonna talk about loot a little bit and kind of go and describe my uh view on how i think things are and as well the, i think one of the main reasons i'm mentioning this too is because i feel like my opinion differs from the community i if i my, if i just blended in i probably wouldn't say anything because yeah but so yeah i think my opinion differs so here it is so most of the time i hear people talking about the loot is really bad um it's too hard to find loot and whatnot and rainbow rainbow rolls and etc now i do hear what you all are saying but i would disagree i th or or not even necessarily disagree but i i like it where it's harder to find the loot um so i wish that it was actually much much harder to find i think loot is way 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 too easy to find in fact i would consider myself like a collector and i think it's fun collecting things that are really rare that maybe other people don't have and i don't think that there is like anything in the game that is like that and especially not like an exotic um i would consider like a rare providence high-end backpack to be much rarer than like a ravenous or something like that um yeah you're gonna get i feel like i would just get like m like i've gotten like dozens of ravenouses but I can't even find like a high end, you know, Provident. Like, I haven't found a, like a triple God Roll Providence backpack that, you know, I want. I've got a really good one, but not like a perfect one, which I kind of like that aspect. I like not being able to find maximum rolls everywhere because not only does that keep me having something to look forward to an upgrade, but I also like collecting things and whatnot and like that. So, that's just my opinion on it. Um, now, I don't like the library. I, I will, I, I don't think it's too bad, but I didn't like the library at first. I don't, I don't like that people can, can go in and, um, just copy and paste a course that max this, max that. I, I don't like that. Um, same with, you know, maybe, maybe, honestly, maybe attributes, I'm sorry, maybe talents would be different. Maybe, like, I could see that, but, like, to put a maximum stat on a weapon and just have it saved. Um, now, the thing that I think would make this more acceptable as far as, like, saving a stat is if it was more... First of all, you wouldn't be saving, um, I don't know if I want to say a max stat. So before pre-patch, like before New York, um, getting like max of something was like nearly impossible. Um, that was really good then. Like way, way early Division 2, there was, um, you know, like a year ago, there was like, you know, getting a 15, obviously weapon damage went higher back then as well. If you didn't know, know it would go to like 18% or whatever it went to back then. And you know, someone having like 14 weapon damage on their chest was really good. You know, and really rare to find, you know. And most, the whole community had 14 while 18 was still maxed. Now, I think that if like, that was the same kind of scenario here, where you know, it's most of the community has like a 14 maybe a 15 in their library but like you know max still went up you know not only does that like keep giving them something to play for um yeah like for you know there's nothing here for me to even get anymore um yeah that would give like a bunch of people more for something or more for them to farm 
you know, more to keep playing rather than having a max, a max stat, you know, and you know, that gets people excited too. Oh, hey, I found, you know, a 16 weapon damage, 16 and a half weapon damage, you know, 17 weapon damage, 18, you know, as time progresses and they find better and better stuff. Uh, that's how I would like for it to be instead of having like every single thing in my library be max, 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 max. You know, I would prefer this be like, you know, I have it, you know, not everything max. I don't think none of this shit, or I'm sorry, excuse me. I don't mind cussing, but I, mean, I scared myself when I cussed there for a second for some reason. But yeah, I don't think like any of this stuff should be really be able to be maxed. I think that you should be able to have like a fair amount of the of the stuff, and I think that's you know, and everyone has different amounts too. That way, when there you're also inspecting people, everyone's not wearing the exact same gear. Everyone, everyone's gear is like basically unique kind of based on you know their library and what what they've found um compared to you know just everyone having eight weapon handling six crit chance on their gear 12 crit hit damage on their gear that type of thing you know where yeah so um just to kind of move on from that um so Good to see you. i think that um, another one of the really big issues is that going to mods here. So this mod, this mod right here is is basically maxed. It's a little bit off. Um, I think I had a level thirty version of this before I even started playing New York. I think I still have it on one of my other characters and I think it gives me like like 4.3 crit chance or 4.5 crit chance or something like that so and that's a level 30 item okay a level 30 item shouldn't be giving you anywhere near what a level 40 item is going to give you in my opinion um I'm pretty experienced I could basically make um a purple character or a level 30 character that could easily beat level 40 content legendary whatever it may be raids etc and you know without a problem but anyways to just set that aside for a second I think what the issue is is like even if this is just a random roll there's not enough difference between minimum or between normal uh, even minimum as well even between minimum normal and maxed it's only like you know for example with crit hit chance it's only like a percent or something like that and which isn't a big difference so people who have normal roles and people who have god roles i mean there's not really much difference but you know maybe one percent crit chance um, which, you know, people who are out there grinding to get this gear aren't really getting, you know, a benefit for it. You know, I know you don't want to make people overpowered, but you need to make the gear at least, you know, it's correct rareness, I suppose you should say. Um, you know, it's the same thing with all these mods you know for the crit hit damage for example you know a very common crit hit damage mod is like 11 5 you know in the 11 somewhere that's very common 12 is pretty rare I'm not gonna lie um I've only found a few but they are still dropping um but you know the 11 fives are are basically dropping like candy so for you to grind you know you don't get much reward for getting like an ultra rare perfect you know stat basically um and as well too you see i have all these mods in here man if you're gonna add a library for something you're probably gonna want to you know want to add a, a mod library like you've done with this over here you know that way you know when I'm getting new mods, I can just see, oh, you know, you know, put a little arrow just like you do 
you know, the other ones that say if I have the stats higher, I can immediately just mark it as junk. Oh, this is junk, you know, etc. Um, and, you know, I don't know exactly how you would be able to implement that, but, you know, maybe you can just save it to a loadout. You know, that makes sense. You know, save mods to loadouts. Um, but yeah, that's a couple of things that, you know, about loot and whatnot that I think is just too common. And, you, you know, I, I don't want to get too much further off track here, but there's not enough... I mean, Providence is basically king. The reason things are hard to find in the game is because if they're not Providence, then what are they? They're basically junk, basically. Um, now, I know there are other builds out there, but it's pretty close to the truth. I'm not trying to dog on other builds, but... For the general builds in the most common builds you know that's you know I understand too you have like Sokoloff pieces too they're also good um, but yeah I think that's a big a big part of uh, what it is though I think items are too too common and the recalibration needs to be tweaked a little bit and item rarity needs to be tweaked and you can't have you know the rare stuff be like only a percent off all right uh hope you liked the video and uh yeah let me know your opinions in uh, uh comment section below and uh yeah like and subscribe this is ape signing out